SoftBank CEO Masa-san telling a Japanese magazine that he's, quote, embarrassed and flustered by his track record. Of course, SoftBank portfolio company WeWork just recently pulled its IPO and valuations of other key investments have fallen. What do you think is going on here? Well, I think uh, with the SoftBank funds, I mean, the Vision Fund, it's uh, the structure of those funds are tough for him, right? There's a right. huge cash component where he's got to guarantee a good portion of that um, in an annual, basically equivalent of dividends. So he's basically saying, look, I kind of kind of screwed this one up, maybe. You know, I need to get so more. What do you in think there. happens to this next big fund? Because that's t to me, there's two big issues here. One is the second fund of $100 billion, which he can't quite get to. He's can, not he, can, he, can he get that money? And two, if Masa Sun gets out of the market, if effectively Masa Sun is doesn't have the same influence that he had before, do valuations across the board in the Valley and elsewhere come in? I think the, the valuations of the first vision fund companies and his investments and the scale of that fund represent the promise of monopoly profits, right? What we work, Uber, all of them are, we're gonna lose money at alarming rates to take over the entire market. We're gonna value these companies extremely high, no one can compete. If it works, it works. And you see in those markets, particularly Uber, that effectively became a duopoly, right? Uber right. and Lyft, and if Uber hadn't been managed the way it was, it might have actually defeated Lyft in the end, and it would have become a ride-hail infrastructure monopoly, and it might have returned those profits that they were seeking. I think it is interesting that Masa has picked a number of entrepreneurs to go all in on that seem to have leadership issues. That would be the thing that I would focus on. Can he raise another round? I think he's got to prove that his first set of investments can return the outsized profits that sort of network effect monopoly companies are promised to deliver. Yeah, I think I agree with Neil, the whole first in, first up, you know, that's his, I'm gonna get this company because they were the first in this, we could dominate it. In terms of trying to raise the second fund, you know, if you look at just where everything is geopolitically, right, this people, you know, negative interest rates around the world and we're talking about cutting rates over here, it's fine, I'll, I'll give you some money if you're gonna give me a better return than what I can get elsewhere in the marketplace. So I think that is still his, his pitch, ultimately. Where else are you going to put, park your money? Right. I can give you a better return. Do you think that his approach, though, changes in terms of, of how hands-off he historically has been and founder first he has been? Meaning, do you think that if, you, if you're going to take money from him in the future, that he's going to be a lot more hands-on? You know, I think the whole conversation about WeWork is, is this a tech company, is this a real estate company? Right. And all, most of those big vision fund investments are, we think we're going to value like a software company, even though what you're doing is moving cars around even though what you're doing is buying office space. I think you gotta really evaluate whether your, your investments are gonna return software size margins or right. IRL margins. You know, I guess the question though, uh, that I, I'm, I'm putting to you is, is maybe slightly different, which is, as my, if Masasun's gonna make it future investments in other companies, A, do founders say, I can't take your money because you're going to behead me in a, in a year because from now. He's, because he's going to want to because take more of a hands-on. More aggressive. Right. What happened, by the way, like Benchmark, obviously, with, with Travis Kalanick taking him out. D did, did Benchmark have a harder time investing in future companies after that? Did they change their approach? I think their reputation has certainly changed. But I think right now, you know, the VC firms in the Valley are going to be very happy to see the Vision Fund on, right. its, on its back foot. Because, they, yeah, because SoftMag is basically sort of distorted that whole marketplace just by the size of the money that it's got and what they can give. I think, I think Masasan is his approach tends to be more hands-off in, right. in terms of, I like you, I like your style, I like your brash sort of, mm -hmm. you know, aggressive style, that, which is his own right. style. I think he's still going to go for those kind I of personalities. I just don't know if MBS is going to go for that. That's, no, and no, that's, that's a whole other... To, but no, but that's how you have to think about it, because when you really understand the pressures that were on Masasan to turn against... Adam, it was in large part because investors like Saudi and others were frustrated and upset about what was taking place. When they saw the valuation of WeWork go from $47 yeah, to $12 no, I, billion, I think that's a they, fair, said, what, they said, what gives? Yeah, that, that's fair. I think the, the reporting there, you're, you're absolutely right. right on that.